Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we will be studying the various compartments of the arm. Now, we all know the arm that is a part of the upper limb that extends from the shoulder joint and consists of this entire bone humerus all the way to the elbow joint. So we know that this part is the arm which contains humerus bone running from shoulder to the elbow. So here what happens is, if you take a cross section of your arm, if I cut it right here and I look from above, what I will see is a bone and the skin will be surrounding it and there will be various muscles. But there is more to this. When I take the cross section of the arm, this is the humerus bone. What actually is happening is that there is the deep fascia of the arm that is dividing the arm into an anterior and a posterior compartment and the deep fascia here is known as the medial intermuscular septum and the lateral intermuscular septum so the fascia is taken into forming two types of septums extending one is medially that is the medial intermuscular septum and the lateral intermuscular septum what is the purpose of these septums? The sole purpose is to divide the arm into an anterior and posterior compartment. So it is basically increasing the surface area for the muscles to be attached. Let's talk about what is actually happening in the two compartments. The anterior compartments consists of the various anterior compartment muscles. These are the coracobrachialis, the biceps and the brachialis muscles. Now these muscles have to be separated from each other. So there are more septums that are going to make this happen. The first is the transverse septum in the anterior compartment. We're talking about the anterior compartment. First is the transverse septum. This divides the bicep from the brachialis. And then there is the anteroposterior septum because it's running anteroposteriorly. The, and let's suppose this is the lateral intermuscular septum and this is the medial intermuscular septum. And the brachialis is divided from the rest of the muscles of the lateral side or the lateral supracondylar ridge that where the brachioradialis and extensors. It is dividing the brachialis or separating the brachialis from these muscles. So an overall summary is the arm is divided into an anterior and posterior compartments by means of septums. There is the lateral intermuscular septum. Let's suppose that this is the body. This is the sternum. So there is the medial intermuscular septum that has divided it into anterior and posterior compartments. The anterior compartment consists of these muscles. The posterior compartment consists of the triceps muscles. And further divisions occur in the anterior compartment. And these are of the biceps is separated from the brachialis muscle. It is separated from the brachialis via a transverse septum. And the brachialis is separated from rest of the lateral supracondylar ridge muscles by means of a anteroposterior septum. Uh, other things that anterior compartment consists of certain nerves like the musculocutaneous nerve, the brachial artery, and the posterior compartment also consists of a certain amount of nerves. These are the radial nerve, which is most important, the profunda brachii artery. Obviously, there are more nerves and arteries in the various compartments. However, these are most important that I have stated.